Uh, this question comes from some guy person. Do you have any thoughts on Gamers Nexus's expose on benchmarking animation error? It seems that this would really help situations like the infamous Kobo run in Jedi Survivor. Uh, Gamers Nexus just asked you to link to their video, which I'll try and add to the video description <laughs> of this videoing. Uh, but, you know, nine times out of ten, I do tend to forget. Anyway, uh, this one's for you, Alex. What do you think? Because you have complained about this, and uh, uh, it's one of these things where you've kind of identified it by eye, but there is seemingly a programmatic way to isolate it. Yeah, I, I mean, we talked about it in the past when we did talk to uh, TAP, uh, Intel, Tom yeah. Peterson from Intel. We did talk about uh, animation error uh, when we tried out last um, the present mon. Uh, that wasn't still completely working all the time, uh, and the way it works does make a lot of sense. And the fact you can plot it on a graph also makes sense. I think. Uh, I like the uh, approach. I think the fluidity of animation is more important than perhaps the overall negligible difference between GPUs otherwise, or even it's more of a CPU thing though, actually. Um, very diff like differences between manufacturers here should be almost nothing. Uh, it's really a, a, a game problem and right. a CPU, maybe PCIe problem. You know, it's like a subsystem problem. And I think I think it would maybe not be very enlightening for GPU reviews, but it would be enlightening for an individual game review. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of how I feel about it. I think, though, showing it on screen is one of the biggest things. Uh, because if you look at a graph, it doesn't say much to me. Like it's having more animation error. Yeah, but what does that mean? Like, you know, so I really want to showcase it at the same time as showing this graph so that people can understand why it is not as good. And unfortunately, that is a lot harder to do because you have to find the repeatable instance of it. And then you have to have, um, you know, technically... It would be great if you had like both a clean version and a not clean version, but that's not always possible for all games because some games are just broken. So uh, you ha you have to really still like hone in on like how you show it. And sometimes these animation errors really are only applicable in a VRR setting. And in a VRR setting, you're having trouble displaying that on YouTube. So it, it is a super complex problem, but I do like that... Um, Steve and Gamers Nexus are uh, wanting to broach the subject more because the difference between like, I don't really care if I'm getting 220 FPS or 200 FPS and it's a 20 FPS difference, but the fluidity is more or less the same on a screen. But I do care if like one instance of a game is having an issue with the frame uh, and the way the animation presents in it and another system is not doing that. Uh, so those are things that are that matter much more to me, and I feel like that is something that I love to see other people talk about. I'm just not sure about how you present it in the context of a review yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you think, Oliver? Well, I defer to Alex and Rich in all matters <laughs> related to new performance <laughs> graphing opportunities. My understanding is that this is not really applicable to the world of console gaming, at least insofar as we can access this information, right? So it would not yeah, be yeah. something that's too uh, – of, of too much particular interest to the work that I do, but I'm definitely intrigued by all manners of uh, animation error and stuttering and things like this. I've noted, you know, in, in the new Battlefield 6, there is some issues with uh, stutters when they're not reflected in the frame time graph, but they are reflected in the game appearing to pause for several frames sometimes. So mm -hmm. uh, that is certainly a concern and it's something we do need to look out for, especially when scanning through footage and just seeing like a perfectly flat, flat frame timeline. Oftentimes that's not reflective necessarily of the actual experience in person if you are experiencing some issues with animation stutter or, or inconsistency. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Yeah, I don't have anything to add to that. Um, I haven't actually had time to check out the video yet because <laughs> I've been away. But um, I think Steve's talked about it before. And uh, it's an interesting new data point that um, has been provided via the, the present one uh, thing. I think back in the day, though, maybe he was talking about, um, uh, okay, this this particular GPU would have more 
animation errors than the last. Maybe I've got that wrong, but I don't really think that's the case because it's, I think maybe you agree with me, Alex, that it's probably an engine based thing. Yeah. So like if you were to, if you were to look at extreme differences between GPUs, the, the, the video talks about uh, uh, GTX 980 versus like basically the lowest supported GPU can get running a game versus the highest supported. Right. Okay. And it, mm-hmm. it, it talks about animation error differences there, but you're looking at for that, um, the, the thing that is causing issues in the older GPU are not exactly it's, it's, I don't know how to explain it, but you're, you're, you're looking at something that has an extremely different, like uh PCIe bus versus the other GPU. It's not just the GPU that's different. Right. Like how, how much actual GPU, like one of them has um, uh, access to, oh, I always forget the word, uh, rebar you know like there's a lot of things that are moving onto the gpu and the synchronization between the gpu and the cpu is different between generations like immensely so when you go back to those gpus uh, versus the highest end so i wouldn't reduce the that video down to the difference between gpus but there's like a whole there's, there's a whole slew of things on the software side that is different between those GPUs and even on the hardware interface side. Yep, yeah. Um, so yeah, I just, I do like the idea though. And I think it just needs a lot more time to gestate. And we talk, think about how we talk about it more, but if for me for right now, I will really probably only break this out. If I was having trouble describing something in a video, usually I can just show it. Yeah. So if there's a disconnect between the existing data and what you're seeing on screen, then that's actually kind of uh, the thing that you're going to be focusing on, I think. 